Ryan Partridge, your record at this track is 16.2? 16.8, but that's 16 close. 16.8. That's close. I came within four seconds. Yeah, that's fine. No, you're, you were flying out there to what we have you to 20.4 or 20.3. Uh, pretty consistently like yeah no it's uh you just can't get it in 20 laps people think you can no it's a very real race car it takes quite a few laps to get the hang of these things and it's much different uh, than on tv or playing the wii game like that you were talking me in going into the corners to get off the brakes i'm used to going in the corners really as you know really hard and then stopping the brakes and i didn't need to do that to begin with because once the car set that's right, you can go. Uh, it, it's it's kind of bizarre. It's not a stereotypical short track. It's shaped like a super speedway. You got to carry momentum into the corner, and it's intimidating. You're doing 120 at the end of the straight, and there's a wall, and they want you to turn left. It's it's intimidating. Uh, you got to learn to let off the throttle, let the thing flow, and it's just a whole lot of schooling. You know, uh, turn three was my roughest one getting into. I never quite got the entrance quite. We'll have to work on that next time. But that was the one where you're going in full tilt boogie down through the back like that. Do you ever get the feeling when you're talking on the radio to the students that they're not listening to you? <laughs> Quite often. It's not easy to listen. There's a lot going on. There's a more than more than just a radio or a cell phone to pay attention to. It's, it's a high stress environment. Um, but other than that, uh, it's, it's bizarre. You find the, the corks of the track, every corner's different. There's four different corners. Every corner's different. Even though it, I mean, it lays down on paper, it's symmetrical, uh, you can really find the little corks of the track. It's neat. The thing that probably uh, knocks people out to begin with is just how loud the cars are when you're in them. And you've been doing this so long, can you tune that out until you hear something go wrong with the car? Um, it, yeah, it's, it's kind of... It's kind of the same that, that you experienced. I, I have a radio in my ear, uh, same as you. My cars are just as loud as the car that you drove. Uh, so I'm dealing with the exact same situation. My spotter knows to only talk to me in the corners when I'm off the throttle, that kind of stuff. I understand that as a spotter. So that helps to build that type of relationship to know when you can talk to the driver and what you can say, how much of it he's going to understand, and certain moves that you can shorten. I mean, do you need to say car outside or just car high? You know, I mean, how much of it can you shorten and take shortcuts and try to make it fast and efficient? It's interesting. In road racing, I don't want anybody to talk to me in the corners, and I want to hear it in the straights. So, right. But I don't listen to it. It's kind of like being married. Oh, wait, you talked about that before. You're always I, getting I instructions. Know. God spoke to me, and she said, thank you, Ryan. Thank you.